I have a confession to make. After playing Satisfactory for more than a thousand hours, there are no other words to describe it. I failed at this game. And I felt sad because of it. You are probably scratching your head right now. How does one fail in a sandbox game with no clear end? Could there be a failure when there is no clear end, no limit? I feel like I'm failing constantly and let me tell you why. It all started with me setting a goal. For example, I realized my factory lacks a lot of customization and by that I mean it's really ugly. After recent updates, the game now has many design oriented features like the customizer. The shop is full of beautiful options for decorations. I even bought many of them with Fixit coupons. Yet, when I look at the state of my factories, they are lying on the ground or on floating foundations at best. This is my first failure. And when I decided to do something about it, to build some windows and slap some banners to make my builds more aesthetically pleasing, so I could show something to the world I could be proud of, I realize I don't have any quartz crystals and silica to construct them. My aesthetic dreams were shattered on the spot and left unfilled void of basic ugly factory. Frustrated by yet another failure, I went to bet some hard drives in extraterrestrial roulette, aka MAM, just to win these recipes. Had this ever happened to you? Who in their right mind would put such recipes into the game? Why would I build an automatic factory for something I can use only manually in limited quantities? Is someone making fun of me? Are game devs that cruel or is it just my bad luck? I felt insulted. To top it off, I wanted to build a factory to produce computers. But looking at my electric network and batteries in particular, I realized there is not enough energy for any further expansion. I felt stuck. Every single goal I set vanished as I couldn't complete it. Then I suddenly began to get it. In the moment of desperation, I began to wonder, what if this is all by design and Kaffi Stein are geniuses behind these obscure and partly cruel game mechanics? Maybe this is how it's supposed to be after all. There is always something in the way, an obstacle behind every turn. Think for a moment about sparks in your eyes, as you imagine a finished, fully realized factory. Maximally efficient, designed to perfection. And then, the same eyes being reduced to tears, as you realize you can't make it. Constant battle of imagination versus reality. However, it feels kind of good, doesn't it? I kind of began to like failure. It began to feel good to overcome obstacles. It reinforced the belief you can overcome any obstacle the game throws your way. It proves you can be agile and adapt to changes fast. It turns your decisions into action. And so I began to act. First, I built a factory to produce quartz crystals and silica, so I could finally build some nice additions I could not before. Then I expanded the power infrastructure using coal generators because I haven't had fuel generators available yet. And finally, I finished the entire computer factory from scratch using no Caterium at all. You hear me right. Thanks to alternate recipes I won at extraterrestrial lottery, I was able to create an entire supply chain without a single bit of Caterium. Well, what about lying buildings on the ground and floating foundations, you ask? As the most wise Reddit user once said, don't let perfect get in the way of done. And I have lived by it ever since. 
Today I learned obstacles are just a part of the experience towards the goal you have. And to overcome them, that thing in particular, regardless of the game you play, regardless of the fact if it's just a game or a real life, feels empowering. Don't you agree? Don't be afraid to fail. I failed at this game. And I don't regret it one second. I can't wait to fail again and over again. But now it's time for another story. Before you jump to it, please hit the like button and take a seat for what's coming next. Thank you for watching.